Hi guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing another Strictly Lifting video, but I want to find like a different series name for it because Strictly Lifting sounds a bit masculine in my opinion, which is totally fine, but I want to get something that's a bit, a bit more feminine sounding, a bit more cute sounding. If you guys could leave some ideas down below, that would be awesome. But if you missed the last video, I will have a card up in this video for you guys. But basically Strictly Lifting or whatever the new series name will be, is just where I show you guys raw footage from my workout and I do a little bit of a voiceover and just talk you through the workout and kind of why I'm doing it, what I'm doing, what muscles it works, and I just kind of update you on my life and, and my training. It's been a long time since I've done these, but I figure that with the change in content and with all the different stuff that I want to be filming, I figure at least one of these each week will keep you guys in the loop on my fitness progress. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into this workout. This is going to be an amazing, incredible lower body glute booty focused workout. As I left the gym and, and today, even when I flex my glutes, they are so sore. No other part of my body is sore besides my butt. Okay, let's do this. Start it all off. This is what I bring with me to the gym every single day. It is my Woman's Best Ice Peach Tea BCAAs and I like to put that over ice. It tastes so good. It tastes like I'm drinking iced tea. And then my amazing, lovely Hydro Flask. It's 32 ounces. I drink two of those a day like it's effortless and I get in two liters of water a day. It's amazing. So I'll leave everything linked down below for you guys in the description if it's something you're interested in. This is, for whatever reason, my go-to stretch every single day. I can actually do a mobility video if you guys would like. I've filmed one in the past, but I don't even, I don't even know what this one is called, but hi, wow, my butt looks gracious and it kind of looks like I have abs and triceps, but this really helps build, or I'm sorry, it really helps stretch out my glute need um, and I also feel it throughout my hamstrings as well. The first workout we're doing is going to be a constant tension squat. As you can see, I'm doing 12 reps of this and I am not locking out at the top. I am literally just bouncing up and down trying to get through it as fast as I possibly can. Prince is spazzing out right now. So I'm doing 12 reps of that. I'm going to give myself a 30 to 60 second rest, not 60 minute, and I'm going to go straight in to a slow stiff leg deadlift and I realized mm. I actually kind of did a Romanian deadlift but hey you know who's counting right I did this with 25 pounds and again did 12 reps just went all the way through guaranteed you will feel the burn moving on to goblet squats this one is hard this is going to be like a tri set so you go straight into goblet squat for 20 reps I did 20 pounds here as you can see I'm doing constant tension as well so hard you are going to feel this burn throughout your entire lower body this gets me sweating i give myself a 30 second rest and go straight into bulgarian split squats guys try doing this with 10 pounds couldn't do it just couldn't do it so i moved down to five pounds and did that for 15 reps okay it is hard i wanted to stop after the 12th rep but you know what you gotta keep going, so, you know, that's that's what I did. I like to really focus on driving through my heel to make sure I'm feeling that push through my hamstrings and glutes. And then to finish it all off, you go straight into standing split squats, and I just do this with body weight to close it all off for 15 reps. And yes, it's hard. It's really, really hard. This is probably my least favorite, but most favorite workout day. If you need to start off, if this is your first time, just doing 10 to 15 pounds for 20 reps with the goblet squat, and then body weight Bulgarian split squats, and body weight standing split squats, that's fine. Don't try and jump into weight, because I, I'm still doing five pounds, guys. I can't wait till I can get to 10 pounds, but it's so hard, because not only are you trying to work your glutes, but it also is about balance and core stabilization and all these muscles firing at once and you just are dying because you're doing these with like 30 second rest which seems like a long time but it's really not. The sweat is so so real right now. I really need this. It's um I almost just thought it's 11 15 p.m. but as I talked about this right here is a lifesaver. My hydro flask thanks to Whitney. Oh well she didn't get it for me but she recommended it. This is my first time using wireless headphones. I got the Bose SoundSport ones. They're kind of incredible. I'll leave those links in the description box for you guys. I'll always try to have like my most commonly used stuff in the description box, like my camera, phone case, I don't know, all that stuff. But we're gonna continue the workout. <laughs> I'm on my last set. Look at all the squats. 
Okay, before I go in and talk about this glute circuit that we are about to do or that I'm about to do, I wanna quickly give credit where it is due. This is actually a glute circuit that was created by So He Fit. I will leave her channel and the link to the, the video of this workout in the description box for you guys. It has been weeks, it had been three weeks since I had done this circuit and it was burning more than ever. I truly believe that this is what made my ass I truly believe that this is what made my butt sore yesterday. So I'm gonna do a rough explanation of the circuit, but So He Fit goes over the entire thing, how to do it exactly right, and she does it with you on screen. Shout out to So He Fit, shout out to Brett Contreras. They're both incredible, phenomenal people when it comes to building your butt. Let's move forward. First things first is going to be the RKC plank. I'm not entirely sure what this stands for. This is just what she calls it, but it seems like a regular plank where you're squeezing your glutes as hard and as tight as you possibly can. And you do that for about 15 to 20 seconds. And this, I'm assuming for myself at least, it's to get your glutes activated. From there, we're gonna go into a banded body weight squat. I do 10 reps of this with the band below my knees and I'm using an extra heavy band. I'll have the resistance bands linked below. And as you can see, I should be focusing on depth and stuff, but by this time, my butt was so sore. Like I watched back and I was like, wow. My squat form could have been a lot better. Regardless, I did do it and I did feel it in my butt and that's what I'm focused on right now. My depth wasn't great, but this is this is a booty thing. This isn't about depth right now. Do 10 of those. Then, without any breaks at all, you go directly into a banded body weight squat and banded reverse lunge. There are no breaks. You are pushing through. As you can see, the reverse lunge is basically doing a side step back. <laughs> you'll feel like you're dying. This is so hard. This next one is going to be called a monster walk and you will feel this on your outer booty as <laughs> I'm feeling it so hard and I do 10 of these uh, one step being both feet moving forward and uh, yeah, you'll feel like death. This next one I have such a love-hate relationship with because it is so so hard but truly is the best finisher or like close to being finisher for this workout and this is going to be banded seat hip abductions first you're going to lean forward and do 10 banded seat hip abductions then you're going to sit up straight do 10 banded seat hip abductions and then finally you're going to lean back and do your final 10 banded hip abductions i can feel the burn watching this go down right now. It is hard, man. It is super hard and like it can feel kind of awkward but just trust in the process. And then the very last thing is going to be feet elevated body weight glute bridge. Again, having this below my knees, I'm doing 30 reps of this. I'm not really focused on like thrusting as hard as I possibly can. At this point, like I could feel it the whole way through. I don't even know if I did 30 reps there to be perfectly honest, but you're supposed to do 30 reps. That seemed more like 10. So guys, that is actually going to wrap up this booty workout video. I'll leave all of the equipment and things that I used linked below, like the Hydro Flask, the Woman's Best Stuff, the Resistance Bands. But that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are excited to see more videos like this, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.